Hello grade nines, I just wanted to make a little video about our last two lessons here and they're about creating equations from uh, just a couple pieces of information. So we started off, I think this is 4.5 maybe or 5.5, find a line that passes through a point and has a slope of negative 3. Okay, so what I'm immediately going to do is write out our y equals mx plus b equation. And there's some pieces of information that we already know. So this negative 3 is our slope. So I can immediately put that in for m. Uh, but I don't know a y-intercept. And our y-intercept is b. So we don't know that value. Our final equation in y equals mx plus b always has the m filled in for a number and the b filled in for a number. So we're going to need to calculate that b somehow. The only way we can do it is subbing in some x and y values into the equation to help find that y-intercept. So let's see how that goes. So it's always x then y. So we have 5 is equal to negative 3 times 2 plus b. So I took my x, my y, and my slope. Now let's just solve this equation. So we have 5 equals negative 6 plus b. I'm going to move this negative 6 to the other side. I'm just going to change it to a positive 6. And we end up getting 11 for our b. Once we have our slope and our y-intercept, we're ready to write out an equation. So we have y equals negative 3x plus 11. All set. Given two points, this one is going to be a little bit more work, but we're going to do some similar stuff here. So in this one, we were given the slope. Here we are not given a slope, we're not given a y-intercept. So at this point, we don't know the m or the b. So when given two points, we have a formula that we're going to use to, to calculate our slope. Okay, so this is what we do when we are only given points. If you're given a graph, we can always look at the graph and count the boxes for the rise and the run. Right now, this isn't an option unless we graph it. And I don't think it's really convenient to always graph it. So we're going to have this, this method to use as well. Okay, so you might notice these little numbers associated with our variables. I'm going to call this point uh, point number one and this one point number two. So if I'm going to use this equation here, the y from our second point, I'm going to subtract the y from our first point. So we have 4 minus negative 8 over 6 minus negative 2. Okay, so we've got to be careful. When, was, when we're subtracting a negative, we have to uh, show both of those because we know that these two signs together Subtracting a negative really means adding. So we have 4 plus 8 over 6 plus 2. We end up with a slope of 12 over 8, which is the same as 3 over 2. Okay, so if I divide both of those by 4, we can reduce our fraction to 3 halves. Now you can, in this case, switch this to a decimal, like 1.5. Or one and one half if you feel like. I feel like the improper fraction is the easiest to work with, so I'm going to leave it like that for now. So we found half of our information. Our y intercept. How do we find a y intercept? We're going to follow this same method here. Okay, so we know the slope. We're given two points, we only need one. So we're able to sub everything into y equals mx plus b. So we only need one of the points. You know what, I'd rather use this one because it's dealing with all positive numbers. You can use the first point if you choose, but uh, yeah, it's up to you. So we've got our x and our y again. 
So we have 4 is equal to 3 halves times 6 plus b. 3 halves times 6, that's going to be 18 over 2, which is 9. Okay, so 3 times 6 is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. And then just like before, we're going to bring that 9 over. And we end up with negative 5 for b. So our equation would be y equals 3 halves x minus 5. There's our final answer here. Okay, so slope and a point, we sub in all the values to find the y-intercept, create an equation. Just two points, we're going to have to calculate the slope and then kind of do what we did over here. So sub in our values to calculate the y-intercept. Once you have your m and your b, you can write yourself out an uh, equation in the y equals mx plus b form. Alright, have a good one.